step by step. Okay, I'm just One, two, three. Yes. All right. Let me do it. No, no, we have two hands. It's very heavy. It's a little heavy. Yes. Look at Sebastian rocking. I like the shirt, too. Thanks. Show them actually bring out the attic. I have to do it. Show them. Okay. Uh, back up, guys. Come on. This is the. Uh, this is our baby ladder right here.
rocks in town where there's canals and stuff like that. So we, we have life preservers in case, there's a, yeah, in case there's a car accident into the canal, it, the car drives out from there. We do have life preservers uh, in case we have to jump in the canal. And have to pull so that's what these are. Uh, this is just rope. Anytime there's any need for any kind of rope, we have that. This stuff right here is what we call, uh, this is for the wildland stuff. Uh, these are uh, fire shelters. Uh, typically, in the county, always has grass fires. There was quite a bit this past summer. So uh, they won't always call for this. Sometimes uh, we're close enough to the county, so we will go out in the county with this fire engine. So we need to have a, a fire shelter. So we'll put these on when we go to get the grass fires. Where's the fire shelter? The fire shelter would be right there. At that okay, location. but what is it? A fire shelter is like a really small tent. Uh, uh, it's made out of, it looks like aluminum foil. Is it fire resistant or anything? Yeah. So to a point, it is still burn. So, uh, so fire shelters. These fire shelters are probably only about as big as me. They're probably only about six foot tall. Wow. It's real tight. When you stand, when you sit in there, you're about like this. There's not much more than you can probably spread your legs like this, and your hands about that, and it goes to about right here. So I about max it out. This will probably a little bit more room for the other guys. <laughs> but uh, but you, what you do is it's open on one end. You would get in it and uh, you'd lay on the ground. And it, those are only for emergency situations. You don't really ever want to get in one. Uh, anytime a, fi a fire is coming and you couldn't get out of the way of the fire, you couldn't get away or get to your fire engine, this would be your last resort where there's no other possibilities of getting away from the fire. You'd get the fire shelter out and get in it. You just carry it on. You carry it, just, it carries on, you're kind of like in a belt. And it's just pop, you just pull They it pop out and you open it up and get inside of it and lay on the ground. Is that a waterfall? There's a couple of waterfalls in there. That would be something that, like I said, you don't ever want to... If happen. that's happening, you're in trouble. Right? If, if, that have, have, if you had to get in a fire shelter, it's very bad. So, <laughs> there's probably only really a handful of people who probably ever really had to get into it for a real situation. So, something you don't want to do. When you guys you have to practice, we have to practice getting in it and know how to get in it and, and how it works and stuff like that. We do practice doing that, but it wouldn't be something that we would really want to do. You guys go on other calls other than just fire calls because somebody has a heart for something. Are you guys there just for support kind of thing? Or? We, uh, like 80% of our calls is all medical. Okay, right. Okay, so we are all like EMT certified. Um, so a lot of times uh, here in Clovis, that if somebody calls uh, 911 and they're having chest pain, having difficulty breathing, or uh, they cut themselves, it could be anything. Uh, we, we will go on those calls. Okay. So, uh, so moving on to this cabinet, this is our EMS cabinet. Uh, on a typical call, if someone calls 911 and, like I said, they're having trouble breathing, they're having pain, maybe they cut themselves, we'll go inside. We have an EMS. We have a couple of EMS bags. We'll always take those in. And whatever the problem is, we'll try and help take care of it. Uh, we respond along with uh, American American ambulance. Uh, we don't transport mm -hmm. people. American. So we'll help them. Usually in Clovis, we can get there first before American. There's only probably two spots in Clovis where there's American animals. And of course, push right out. Of course, we have the city. So we get there fast. Here at our station, we'll get there first and probably be there at least, at least probably five minutes. Five, seven minutes even before the ambulance gets there. Is your training the same as yours or is your guys just, I mean, it's uh, our training, or stabilize somebody if I call the or something. We were like trained up to, yes, we are trained up to like an EMT level. The ambulance has an EMT and it has a, has a medic. So obviously the medic has more training than us. Uh, so when, when the ambulance gets on scene, usually the person in charge is making sure that they can push drugs. Sorry? They Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So this kind of cabin is kind of where it is. It's a medical cabin. This right here is just a big tarp. If we had to pick someone up and they were a little bit bigger or whatever, we could use this tarp and put somebody on there and help pick them up. Instead of having to like bear hug somebody and carry them around, we'll use that to do that. It's a lot easier to get three or four people to pick them up on this tarp. Any questions? Well, how is the tarp are you talking about? Put your hands on it. Okay, you can come here.
glory. Yeah. yeah. Different turnouts? Everyone in Clovis has their own turnouts. So there's five for the person. Right, right. So, so uh, this, these turnouts are for uh, a guy that's pretty tall. Are they the same equipment though? It's the same exact same stuff. It's just. Procedure for women is just for men. It's the same okay. procedure. Yeah. So the, uh, everyone's turnouts are exactly the same. They're just sized. You can get for they're just sized uh, for your. You know, you, you get fitted for them. So, is it heavy yet? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay. So, still, you wouldn't be able to pass. We still have to zip it up. Sorry. We have a zipper if you want to. We got the zipper, and we do have Velcro. That should be part of the test, too. You wouldn't be able to pass unless you're zipped up and Velcro. That would still be easy. It's pretty hard, huh? Yeah. And that's actually yeah. do that fast. <laughs> See, the problem is the time is ticking, huh? The time hasn't stopped yet, and you're having trouble with the zipper. I only lost one bedroom right now. We're coming second bedroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you would still have to belt it up, and then we actually have another belt right here, too. This, this would actually not be passing either if he had it right here. He would have to be like that for him to pass wow. also. Well, so he would have to be passing. Remember that. So uh, we have the helmet. Can you put your helmet on? Um, <laughs> passing. Wow. Also, passing, he still has to have his helmet on. And also passing, he would have to have his, his strap on. That would also be, that would be passing also. Do you think he's uh, ready to go on the fire now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about his hand? Okay, he does have his gloves on. So right now he would still not pass because he still doesn't have his gloves on. Okay, so right now these turnouts have him right there. So he would have to put his gloves on to be able to still pass. Okay, but that's still not finished. We have a... <laughs> How much time do you guys get to get geared up? What's the bottom line? 30 seconds you have to get geared up before we No, 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 it's the one minute. One minute. Okay. Yeah. So he, he's, still not, he's, still not, he's still not ready to uh, pass, pass the turnout test. So he's, we're still, we still have a bottle. He has to put that bottle on too. This is our mask. This is our mask. And... Um, Everyone, everyone in the department has their own mask. You don't have to show it. So, um, this one is, uh, okay, so this is, this would be kind of what you look like if you put that on. You can put it on. You can have your face like, the process would be even as <laughs> <laughs> 
process would be, he, he obviously had to put the mask on before your helmet. So he still wouldn't be able to pass because he doesn't have his gloves on and he's missing one other thing. He doesn't have a hood on either. We have a hood. We won't even mess with it, but he's missing one piece right here. It's kind of a hood, and the hood goes the hood goes on before your helmet. And what the hood does is it covers your ears. See how your ears are exposed right here? Yeah. It covers your ears so you don't burn your ears. So he would not be able to pass, you know, because he did he wouldn't have his hood. So he would have to put that on also to be able to pass the test. But we still don't have a backpack. So and that's the captain's helmet too. That's yeah. 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 okay. okay. yeah, like a good thing. Okay, we'll put that on. There you go. Before I stop showing you, let's see it. <laughs> well. So he, now he's a little bit closer to be able to pass the test. And you got to do all that within, it, it's all of it, right? Uh, yeah, it's all within a minute. So. That is amazing. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot, a lot of things. So, that, so it does take people, you know, it takes guys that will sit there and practice it all day. Not all, they'll, they'll practice a lot to be able to get it under within a minute. So I forgot, what are, what are our good times? You remember? 30. In the 30s? So, so you get guys that will typically get it done in, thir in about 30 seconds. Wow. What, what they'll do is they'll lay everything out on the ground so it, like their, their boots will be right in front of them. They'll have their jacket laid out just so they can put it on quick. They'll have their bottle laid out perfectly so all they have to do is grab it and put it on real quick. So it takes a little bit to practice. So when you get to a fire, obviously it's not all lined up. Like no, no, no. It's, it's, in, it's in the cabinet. Right. It's all, in, it's all inside. So uh, I mean, okay. uh, usually we'll put our turnouts on first. Probably here before we even get inside the rig. Crazy, uh, Usually, like uh, Captain Summer, he, he'll have to put his stuff on. He'll have to put this all on before he gets in the cab because he's trying to do a few other things. So he doesn't have time to do it while he's sitting while he's sitting in the cab. Uh, John will probably usually put, typically put on his bottom so he can still drive. And then when we get there, he'll have to put his coat on. But uh, for myself, I could probably I could probably put everything on inside. Uh, it's a little bit tighter. So it's, it's a little bit easier outside to be able to put them on real quick, and then we'll get in. And of course, uh, we won't put, uh, I'll put like the bottle and stuff on inside the cab as we're driving. There. So uh, I have time, I have, I, while we're driving, I'll have time to put my stuff on. Uh, Captain Silver, he has other things to do. He'll have to map in and stuff like that. So he has, obviously has less time. He'll have to try and do it faster. So he probably typically should be faster than me. 